Hey guys, Eileen here. Um, I know it's been a while, sorry about that, but I do have a bunch of projects that are piling up and I want to put them away, so I thought I'd share them first. Um, first is this layout. It's using the Bow Bunny Collection Souvenir, and I created it for Scrap Africa's um, challenge. I think it's number 52, and it's trains and cars and um, things like that, and there is a mood board. So if you visit their website or their blog, you can see it and there's you know a prize that goes with it as well as if you win. Um, so I was the guest designer for them for this month and this is the layout I made. Um, that's Dexter and we went to Strasburg Railroad in Lancaster in Pennsylvania. So um, that's how it came out. And then I used a bunch of um, brads from the souvenir collection as well and some of the die cuts. So. This is another layout using Bo Bunny's Heritage Collection. Um, because of the sort of warm colors, I decided to make a fall layout. Um, So, um, let's see, some bow bunny flowers and some fall leaves, and this is Morgan when she was um, maybe one or something, so, and I used some of the die cuts or, and chipboard from the collection as well. Um, another bow bunny layout using their new beach collection. Um, kind of forget what it's called, but it's um, one of their newest releases, and it's um, it's got a lot of really cool vintage images, but also these kind of background papers. And there is distressed paint background paper and um, weathered wood, so it's really great for. Um, for um, summary layouts, and these are the die cuts that come in the package. And this is another layout. It's created for, it's also using the new beach collection from Bow Bunny, and it's, um, I think it's called Boardwalk or something, actually. And um, this is for the Bow Bunny Sketch Challenge for this month. And again, if you enter the Sketch Challenge, obviously there's a prize that goes along with it that you can win. So it's for the month of June. So you still have time to enter if you want to. Um, it's a really nice sketch. So I think I followed it pretty faithfully. It kind of looks like this, except I think it has three smaller photos going like that, whereas I just did the two photos. So that's it for the layouts. Um, some cards. It's using one of the Bow Bunny collections. And, um, you know, that's really nice paper. You can write a lot, a nice long message with this one. <laughs> And that's a bow bunny flower. And another card using the same collection. And another bow bunny flower. And again, the same inside. And this is using a bow bunny leaf stamp. Um, and then I just cut them out, so that way they have the leaf pattern on them. And another Bow Bunny card. Gosh, I guess I haven't shared in a while because I think these are back from like Valentine's Day. So um, I guess it's been a few months. Um, this is using that same Bow Bunny collection, but this is made for paper nest dolls. I was, um, I used to be on their design team and I just guest designed for them recently. Um, just making one card with one of their new releases. So I used this stamp and this is using Prismacolor pencils to color it.
And here is the inside. And one last card using that collection. And here's the inside. So that's the cards. And um, a little um, altered box I made for Morgan's room. This is a dollar store wooden little printer's tray. And um, that's how it came out. I'm going to hang that up in her room. And then I also made a little mini album um, <clears throat> using one of their newer collections. And we're going to go away for Morgan's birthday. So this is going to be for her 11th birthday. See the things pointing at 11. So it's for her 11th birthday. And she loves this collection, so it's perfect for it. And this is a Bow Bunny wooden clock. And I misted it with their sprays, the pink spray. So... Um, and I actually made the album myself. I cut out the chipboard um, for the cover. And then and then the photos go here. And um, obviously it's not glued down right there or right there so the photo can slide under it. And I cut it slightly bigger than a 2 by 3 photo. So we'll have a thin black or white edge around it. Um, and the pages I made simply by taking the piece of paper and folding it in half and then trimming it to size so it's the same sheet of paper so it comes out pretty sturdy actually because um, you know boat bunny paper is really thick and then once you fold it in half and glue it together then it's you know I mean it's pretty firm um, and again you know it's not glued down so I'm gonna slip a photo in here and a photo in here then I use different chipboard and die cuts from the collection um, then I took some Bow Bunny 6x8 um, pages that are um, for the Miss Me binders, and then I trimmed them to size. So, And then I just stuck this paper in it, so a 4x6 photo will fit in here, and then there will be a little border at the bottom. And then again, a 4x6 photo will slip in here. And um, just a a journaling spot and a photo here and again it's just a folded piece of paper in half and then here and then that's one of the Bow Bunny um, Misk Me um, envelopes and what I did was I trimmed it to size and then I hand stitched the bottom so that it fits in here and that's the new Bow Bunny metallic rub-ons so I can put tickets in here or some memorabilia or whatever from the um, from the birthday. And I think this collection is just so cute for like a preteen girl, you know. And Morgan really likes it, so. Um, this is another folded in half paper. And this is another from the Miss Me binder to slip the photo in. Um, slip the 4x6 photo in. So, um... Even though it was really quick to make since I just folded pages in half and just trimmed things to size and then just, you know, put them together, it fits in a ton of the 2x3 photos and a whole bunch actually of the 4x6 photos as well. So even though it's small, it's, um, it fits a lot of stuff. So that's what, six 4x6 photos and I don't even know how many little photos. And I added a bunch of journal link spots too, to kind of make comments about the photos and stuff in here. And then this is the back. Again, I used the chipboard just to make the cover sturdy. And that's the back. So, all right. Well, I think this video is long enough. I have a few more things to share. So I'll make another video to do that. So I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.